That was me having a show in front of 7,800 people. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm bragging. Hi again and welcome to 3 Minute John. And now the news. The Samsung A9. The 4X event that Samsung teased last month happened last week and they released two new mid-range A-series smartphones, the A7 and the A9. But we're gonna talk about the A9 because it's the first smartphone with the quad camera setup. Wow. 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 Four cameras? One, two, three, four cameras. cameras. Okay, but why? Well, I kind of get it because lately the main battleground for smartphone is the camera and having four cameras with different zooms, view angles and apertures is a must if you want to win. It should be called Sir Galaxy Camela. <laughs> you know, because it has a lot of cameras. <laughs> Cam a lot. <laughs> okay. The main camera has 24 megapixels, then we have an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 10 megapixel camera with 2 times zoom, and a 5 megapixel camera for those depth of field effects. The display is a 6.3 inch Super AMOLED, but the pixel density is not as high as the Samsung Galaxy S9. It has a 3800 milliamp battery, Snapdragon 660 processor, 128 gigs of storage expandable by microSD, 6 or 8 gigs of RAM, that's excessive for a mid-range phone. It's like me having 6 pairs of running shoes. I'm never gonna use them all. It will cost 600 euros or 724 dollars. It will be available next month and I gotta say it looks kind of ridiculous with that four camera strip on the back but giving the specs and the price I think it's gonna sell very well. But what do you think? Would you get this phone over a flagship S9 or a Note 9? Are the four cameras something you fancy? Is four too many or would you like more? How many cameras do you need to be happy? Why aren't you happy? Is it because your childhood? Who hurt you? Went, went a little off track there, sorry. Anyway, leave a comment and let me know. The Huawei made 20 phones. A few days ago, on October 16th, the Chinese manufacturer held an event in London where they announced the latest flagship smartphones, the Mate 20. It would have been cool if they released it on May 20th. You know, the Mate 20 on May 20th. And it has three cameras, which in my opinion are more tastefully arranged in the center rather than on the side of the smartphone. Huawei promises a lot with the smartphone lineup and there are many variations of the phone that you can get depending on your budget. We have the Mate 20 with a 6.53 inch LCD display, which is the little nipple notch. The Kirin 980 processor, four or six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, headphone jack, 12, 16 and 8 megapixel cameras, 24 megapixel front camera and the 4000 milliamp battery. Then the Mate 20 Pro with a 6.39 inch OLED display, notched, same carrying processor, 6 or 8 gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, no headphone jack, in display fingerprint sensor, 3D face unlock, 40, 20 and 8 megapixel main cameras, that is a lot of pixels a 24 megapixel front camera and a 4200 milliamp battery. The cool thing about the Mate 20 Pro is that beside having wireless charging, it can transform itself into a wireless charger for other phones. So when your girlfriend needs some extra juice in her phone, you can put the Mate 20 Pro under it and let them make electrifying love. Okay, probably not the best explanation for it, but that's the way I see it. And the Mate 20X that is designed for gaming is a combination between the first two, but with a 7.2 OLED display. That is huge. And not only for a smartphone display, huge. Also, the Porsche designed Mate 20 Pro that has the same specs as the Pro, but costs more because it has Porsche in the name. The new Huawei phones will not be cheap, but if they deliver what they promise, they might worth it. Except the Porsche design, that, that's just stupid. Robots keep getting better than humans. We often talk on this show about robots and how things are progressing for the future robot apocalypse. Because yes, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Boston Dynamics released some videos this week to show the new improvements they have for the robots that will end the human race. Here we can see the robot dog called Spot Mini that was trained to dance to Uptown Funk. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's so cute. First they dance, then they terminate you. It can even twerk and look at you with that creepy claw while twerking. Uh, got nothing on me, Boston. And another video shows the humanoid robot Atlas, you know, the one we talked about last year about how it can backflip. Well, now it can do this. This is not a big deal, I mean, it jumped over a log, <laughs> come on. What the f*** was that? Did that thing jump from one leg to another on different level blocks? I mean, we're all screwed. Nice knowing you guys. I'm heading out. Bye. And thank you, Boston Dynamics, for this wonderful apocalypse. Cheers. And by the way, don't call it a humanoid robot because that means that humans could do those jumps. I'm a human and I can do those jumps. That's how Batman moves. Actually, that's what you should call it. A Batmanoid robot. But for real, Boston Dynamics are doing a great job. But I just hope they don't put weapons in its hands. Because then, then you will know we're f***. This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below. Share this with your friends. I'm John. Until next week. Keep it... Keep it safe and secure. Cheers. I'm gonna go kill my neighbor. So, mate. Oh, you wish now.